vaccines from McLaughlin Parade Field and the recent Joint Service Wellness Fair. More on that story in just a moment. Hello and welcome to Meet Week. I'm Brian Spann. Also this week, tips from the school's liaison officer. Kimbrough cuts the ribbon on a new script center and some important job search news. These stories and more, but first, we're in the last days of summer and the school year is upon us. Earlier this week on a special back to school town hall, school's liaison officer Sarah Bonice offered some helpful reminders for parents and students. However, she did lead off with some long awaited news from the high school. The Mead High High School walking gate the hours of operation will be in the morning the gate will be open from 8 to 8:45, and this will be posted on the feed so so in the morning 8 to 8:45, at noon from 1205 to 1330 and in the afternoon from 1520 to 1630 so again, the Mead pedestrian walking gate at the rear of the high school will be open. There's much, much more from the Back to School Town Hall. Just go to our Facebook page and click on videos. In other news, the 70th Intelligence, Surveillance and Reconnaissance Wing spearheaded the recent Joint Service Bouncing Back Better Wellness Fair on McLaughlin Parade Field recently. The fair featured dozens of information booths, vendors and activities, including an amazing race competition. While the fair provided information on all the pillars of wellness, there was a certain focus on mental wellness. We do a lot of hard work here at Fort Meade. I joke that uh, General Nakasone, uh, both as the commander of U.S. Cyber Command and the director of NSA, gets all of the hard problems from the uh, White House. Um, and so, you know, while he's solving those and you know, he looks to us to help him solve those problems, um, that's a lot of stress on you as a family member, as a, uh, as a service member. So make sure you're taking time uh, to take care of your own mental wellness. At group six, at least for us, um, resiliency is a big part of, of our everyday routine, right? So it's in our command philosophy, it's one of our guiding principles, because uh, it's important. All of us get, all of us get a little low uh, sometimes, and we need to make sure that we're keeping ourselves sharp. Keynote speaker Major General Bradley Pyburn, Chief of Staff U.S. Cyber Command, offered some comments on why focusing on wellness is so important. Our most important asset, we have amazing weapon systems. I'm in the Air Force, right? We've got F-35s, we're building B-21s, the Space Force, they can do laser beams. It's fantastic, okay? But that's not what's important. What makes us different, what makes us better, are you. Our soldiers, our airmen, our Marines, our sailors, our Coast Guard, our civilians, and the families. In more health-related news, Kimbrough Ambulatory Care Center recently cut the ribbon on his second Scripps Center on Fort Meade. The new Scripps Center is located in the Exchange Mall just outside the pharmacy. The Scripps Center, like the first one located at Kimbrough, is a pickup service for refill prescriptions only. Enrollment is required unless you are already enrolled at the Kimbrough Main Pharmacy Scripps Center. You can order refills by calling 1-800-377-1723 or going to TRICARE online and selecting the Fort George G. Meade Maryland PX Script Center option for pickup. Elsewhere this week, the Defense Commissary Agency released its annual customer service survey. Customers will be asked to take the survey at the commissary entrance before they shop. The survey runs through September 7th. For more information, I'll post the link to the commissary website that has all the details. And finally this week, a couple of big job search reminders. First, on September 14th, MWR and the Maryland Department of Labor are hosting a community job fair from 10 to 2 at Club Mead. It's open to everyone, and they will be running a shuttle between the National Guard Center on 175 and Club Mead. For more information and a list of participating employers, just go to mead.armymwr.com. And one other reminder, Club Meet is also hosting the biannual Tech Expo sponsored by the U.S. Army Intelligence and Security Command. The Expo is scheduled for Tuesday, September 20th. There's a senior leadership tour from 8.30 to 9, with general admission from 9 to 1. According to INSCOM, the Expo provides an opportunity to collaborate with peers, connect with industry experts, and view the latest innovative tech solutions. INSCOM hosts the Expo twice a year at Fort Meade. And that's Mead Week for this week. I'm Brian Spann. For everyone at Mead TV and the Fort Meade Public Affairs Office, have a great weekend and a great Mead Week.